Hello and welcome. I have here a project which is the installation of a customer relation management software. That company decided instead of buying the software to rent an online solution and to pay fees for that solution. So the basic of fees it's that every month you have to pay a certain fee per user using the software. So here in the description, it's quite simple. I have here 20 users which are going to use the software, the CRM software, and for each user, the license asks a 50. So here I've defined it in Swiss francs, but you can define it in euros or uh, US dollars as you want. So what it means is that every month in this project, whenever we use the CRM software, there is that monthly fee that if you multiply the 50 per 20 users, it's a thousand per month. So now, how are we going to add this to the project? I want first to show you how it is done, how the solution looks like. So you see here, I have below the four stages of my project added payment of the CRM. And you see that the total for the period of the project will be a 5,000. If we admit that it was a thousand a month, you are not surprised to see that there will be in all five payments. So as you see, we have here each payment of a thousand. So now, we are going to look how to build this with MS Project. So we position ourselves at the point where we want to insert those costs directly in the Gantt chart. And I will here go on tasks and here I will insert a recurring task. The recurring task, I will entitle it payment for the CRM. And I will say that this payment doesn't have any duration and it will be monthly. I will do this on the first Monday of every month. And you see here that we need to define when will be the start of the project. It will be here and when the project will end. So I will add here one month more and we will make it end by the end of February. Like that we have five occurrences as we had in what I've shown you. So once this is done we can say here OK and you see that we have here the five tasks that have been added and there is a summary task here. For the moment you see that the costs are set to zero. The first thing we have to do is to add a resource which represents the CRM license. For that I go into the table resource shift and here I have all my resources and I will add here a resource called CRM. That resource will be of type material and as you see you don't have uh, a, an occupation possibility but here we'll say that each license is a 50. That's what we have to, to do. And we, we can also say here into the cost that it has to be paid at the start. This is uh, a case that we often find with um, licenses in the cloud for any application. So this doesn't really matter here. It's just uh, for convenience. So once this is done, we have now a resource which is of type material. Per unit, it will cost a 50. So we go back to the Gantt chart. We will now go to the information from this first task here. So we see here the first payment and 
what interests us are the resources. And I will say here that the resource that I'm going to use is CRM. And now we have to define the number of units. So we say 20 units since there are 20 people. Okay. And you see here the change. We have added here 20 units and MS Project has immediately calculated the cost. So of course we need to do this now also for the other tasks, which are the other payments. The resource it's always CRM. And once again, MS Project calculated the cost. So you can see that we can also go on this in another way. It's just here. We select CRM. And then we double click. And it will ask us the unit number. This is faster and easier. So I will complete this for you. As you can see, now we have for all the payments, all our five payments, the 20 units, which amounts to a thousand each time. And here up, we have the summary task where we see that it summarizes the cost of a 5,000. So like that, it's what I wanted to show you, the way to insert recurring costs. Of course, that if during the, the course of the project, you need to extend the number of licenses for uh, some of the users, let's say that at the last point, when you are really into the tests, you maybe have way more users at that time. So you could easily here increase the 20 to 40, for example, and we'll see what happens. And you see that the cost of the last payment has changed now to a 2000. And of course, the summary here up of the cost of this part has raised to 6,000. With that, I think that it's clear now how you can play with recurring costs, how you can add them to your project. And I wish you all the best. And I hope you liked the video so you can subscribe to my channel. You can like the video. So I wish you to have a good time and see you soon. Bye.